Hi there. I wanted to talk a little bit about choosing a living environment um, using the principles of Ayurveda. We've had a number of questions about it, and uh, I'd like to talk about it a little bit because I, I made some mistakes with that kind of thing uh, just before coming to Ayurveda. And, uh, and so I'd like to see if I can assist you in avoiding some of those mistakes. So when the doshas are um, in excess or in deficiency, we have symptoms. And those symptoms then will affect how we feel in our environment. So for example, if, uh, if vata is very high, we'll tend to feel cold and we want to be in a hot environment. And sometimes we want to be in a really hot environment. So what I did was I moved myself to the desert. But I also have a fair amount of pitta in my constitution. And then you go to the desert, and it's, uh, uh, the practitioner I was working with at the time, she said, oh my, it's like as if you live in an oven now. <laughs> and that wasn't ideal for me because I kept wanting to go out into the sun, uh, which would, of course, warm me up, but it was also drying me out. And the drier I got, the higher the vata got, you see. So, uh, so, so what I want to suggest is that you do the things to bring yourself back into a reasonable state of balance. And when you do that, it's, um, we make different choices, right? And so if you're feeling like, oh, I'm not happy with my living environment and that, see what you can do to change yourself first. And then you research your living environments. So the questions that come, you know, well, what's going to be the very best thing for me? Well, there are some environments that are easier for some than others. I personally prefer to live in a tropical environment, but I can also enjoy uh, going up into the mountains into a cooler environment at times. And I don't like it to be burning hot like the desert. The other thing I, I learned about that experience was that um, I had grown up in a very humid environment. And then the first time I went to the desert, I thought, oof, this is fabulous. But I didn't understand what the long-term effect would be of that, which wasn't good. Uh, and so, um, so humidity then is another thing to consider for all of us. Some people enjoy more humidity than others. So, I just wanted to talk about that again to recognize number one that we can uh, it's better to bring yourself back to a, a reasonable state of balance before making those kinds of big decisions and then we can use the tools and our understanding of ayurveda and yoga to find the very best environments for us to live in